Phenol crystals, uh, crystals that grow in the, in, in the magma or the molten rock at depth within the earth, at higher pressure and temperatures. And when the magma eventually rises to the surface, they are carried with it up to the surface. And so they provide us with information about the conditions deeper down in the earth, where, the, where things were, are different. In this rock here, you will see white specks in a, a darker matrix. And these white specks are actually the phenocris. These, In this case, the plaqueoclase crystals, which are, consist of calcium, aluminum, and silica. And in those little crystals is where you have those little tiny little melting crystals. And they're like, the melt gets trapped. But these crystals and the melt inclusions which are in them uh, were formed at greater depth within the Earth. So at pressures, uh, uh, well, at depths up to uh, 10 to 20 kilometers or so. So what we're looking for is an olive, olive green crystals, which we call olivine, which usually grow at a slightly greater depth than these ones. But they, in the same way, they will have these little, tiny little melt inclusions in them, which are what, it's what we're after, because that gives us uh, information about the composition of the melt at depths to 10 to 20 or even 30 kilometers down.